Hello, hello, hello. This is actually the right channel. This is a new guy, Wiley. Yes, I decided to call him Wiley. I was being silly. He's a, uh, he's an elf. Um, let me show you. And I named him W-Y-L-Y. -Y. Wiley, he's a dark elf. I was just being silly. But anyway. So, uh, don't, don't worry about that red dot. There's some enemy out there that still doesn't like. So this is the Dragon Cliff Manor, complete with dragon. It would be nice if he would come back and land. I don't know if he's going to. But nonetheless, for me to get Dragon Cliff Manor to work, okay, the short way, okay, was to turn off a bunch of mods. So let me go and show you this. I moved it all the way to the bottom. I tried messing with it. I had a conflict with some mods. Rather than spending all the time it would take to figure out what my conflict was, but rather just turn off all these mods and uh, turn off all these mods, most all my mods, not all my mods, I kept a few, um, but most all my mods I turned off. And I had I have uh, Dragon Cliff Manor. I have it down here at the very bottom. Now, <clears throat> this was done by Tarshana. Now, notice this mod is going to be updated and removing the general stores. I could never get the general stores to work, so I removed that just in case it was causing me trouble. <clears throat> and it just doesn't work. I'm just going to tell you, even when I had the general stores mod in the game, it was not working. Now... Say what you will, I'm just telling you, it was not working. Alright, so. If it did work, I think some of these boxes over here, we don't have to look at Wiley like that, do we? No. Um, I think, like, this box would actually have something in it, but it doesn't. So, and the same with this box. This was supposed to be storage. I wish there was just a chest there. I don't need you to do anything fancy for me. Just, just give me a storage. Just give me a chest. Nonetheless, um, my problem was I could get here on Jade, and if you see my playtesting video, you might see that. I could get here on Jade, but every time I would open the door, the game would crash. And I didn't want to go through that tedious process. I wanted to make sure that this mod would work before I went through that tedious process. So, this is the front load of our spotlight. I just want to show you what the house looks like and stuff, and then I'm going to try to find out what I had that was conflicting. I shouldn't stress it that way. I should say conflicting. Anyway, I, 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 think, I think I'm doing that because we kind of do that as a funny thing sometimes. Um, anyway, I'll try to see if I can find the, the conflict and uh, see what we can do about it. But for now, just to show you the interior here, it's it's a nice house. It's got a good interior. Now this is basically how it's going to look in a fairly vanilla way. I think it has a good look to it. Very nice. Like I said, it's it's one of Tarshana's uh, mods. So I mean, I'm not surprised that it worked. I was actually surprised I had so much trouble getting it to work. Um, but it just depends on what the conflict is, I probably am just, I probably just have some mod that, you know, this, this mod doesn't like for some reason, and if I find out what the conflict is, I, I might be able to move them around, and it might work, or if that's not the case, then I might uh, be able to choose which mod I want to keep. I guess you can always do that, so. Um... <clears throat> Anyway, I'm just trying to walk you around. I'm not, I'm not trying to go too fast, but I don't want to go too slow. There is some fun stuff to see. I like, I mean, look at some of this. It's very cool looking, very nice. I think overall, overall this is a nice looking home. Um, I don't like the way you have to find it or get to it in the initial beginning. But, eh, there's worse things in the world, right? I mean, um, I don't love the fact that you have to, you know... Uh, walk to it from, uh, basically from Hilgren's tomb, 
Uh, that's probably the best way to find it. Uh, and the directions telling you to come up the, the mountain face isn't exactly right either. Uh, but it is still findable and still doable. Let me show you on the map, matter of fact, since we're talking about this, where it actually is. It's actually up here, and it's got its own little stables I showed you outside, and that's Hilgrim's Tomb. What you end up doing is you have to come out and go across this river on the fallen log. There's a fallen log over here that you use for a bridge. And then come up this road here, and you'll fight some uh, bandits on the way. Now, the, another thing about the bandits was one or two of them were kind of glitched. They weren't automatically enemies. So, but anyway, this is a good and interesting house. It does have some mannequins and stuff, and none of them were acting creepy for me, which was nice. See, they're not standing there jiggling or anything, which is good. And I don't know what that is for. I've forgotten if I, I don't know if I ever knew. Oh, that's supposed to be the lights on the mannequin and stuff. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. Anyway, now if you don't want to be, you can go back that way instead of going back the way I came, or you can click this and it will take you back to the, uh, back where we came from. But let's go this way and go somewhere else. Now, I'm going to tell you another thing. These display cases, if you use the USS E patch, EP patch, let me show you. I want to make sure we know what we're talking about. I want to make sure I say it correctly, because if I say it wrong, oh, that's just going to confuse you, and I apologize. Don't want to do that. Um, but it's the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. So that's U-S-S-E-P. Right, it's that. So that patch, if you turn that patch on, okay, all of these display cases will have that irritating blue flashing light or shine to them. And it's, as I say, it's very irritating. So, um, to avoid that, I turned that patch off. So, if, if you... If you want to leave that patch on, you can. You can still get in the house. You can still use the house. But all these display cases will have that blue patch. Now, if there's an, will have that blue um, effect that I don't like. Now, if there is, um, if there is some, what's the right word I'm trying to think of? If there is some other uh, patch that takes care of that, that's great. But I wasn't aware of one, so. I just turned it off. Still, like I say, that's that's one thing. If you really have to have the 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 unofficial patch, then you definitely you're going to have some annoying blue stuff. I don't know of a, of another patch that gets rid of that. Um, so I've normally when and now not all mod homes have that issue either. I'm not sure what makes some mod homes have that issue and others don't. Now here you can teleport to the main hall if you wanted to. But I think there's stuff to see downstairs or down the ramp, so we'll just go down here. I'll try to show you everything I can think of. I have been in here because I fooled around a little bit making sure it wasn't going to crash on me again. Oh, a treasury chest. Ooh, ooh we got some gold. Oh, we got some coin. Oh, do I want to take them? Mm. Oh, that's a lot of coin purses. I'm tempted to take them, but I'm going to leave them for fun. Um, you have some places for things, like some of the Thieves Guild stuff and for the crown. Oh, okay. Oh, the dragon stone and amulet. Cool, cool, cool. Treasury chest again. The area, these are spots for something. What are these? These are for the claws. The claw. And then I think there's a place for masks. Did I miss it? If I walked by it. Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh, I walked by it. See, I did. Anyway, there's Clavicus Viles Bust. And then there's 
there's all these masks. So there you go. Um, let's see. I think that's everything down here. Everything's pretty well lit. It's lit enough. You know what I mean? It looks good. Um, now this is using all vanilla textures. The only thing that doesn't have vanilla textures is Wally himself. <laughs> and maybe the women. Now the women, the servants here, I think, are they all women? I think they're all women. Um, the ones I met so far were all women. They, oh, let's use, let's use the teleport. I should have teleported back. Anyway, the women, they all operate little stores for you, like her. You talk to her. What do you got for sale? Take a look. And she has 3,000 gold. She will sell you, eh. She will sell, uh, uh, okay, she'll sell you some lockpicks. Basically, though, she has 3,000 gold. So that means you can sell her some of your junk that you no longer want. I don't have a lot of junk, but I have a little junk. Let's just get rid of it. It's, it's mainly from those bandits out there, dirty dogs. They were bothering me. Oh, and it just crashed again. Oh, and it was working. Okay, um, I don't know, I don't know, this, I cannot get this home to not crash. <laughs> um, okay, alright, I mean, I've got it down to bare bones, um, I started a whole new game and I started Wiley just to come up here and see this house. I guess another option is to turn off everything else. Just hold on a second. Let's let's just try it. I was so disappointed though in that. I see I'm struggling to get this to work, but it could be when Tarshana updates it, assuming that she still she still does. I'm pretty sure Tarshana is a she from what I remember. If they update it, um, this should be good to go because I'm sure that they'll fix whatever it is. It could be a problem with those stores and those general stores. It could be an inventory issue. Um, and that could be why it crashed me out when I was using that lady as a store to sell stuff. Um, let's just see. Let's just take, you know, I'm just going to turn all this off. We're going to make that house the only mod we have. And uh, we're going to go back in. Maybe I should do a reset, okay? I, I think at this point, Wiley will stay. He will stay in the house. We're just going to keep the house on. We're going to turn all this off. Sorry, dude, you're just going to look like Mr. Ugly Vanilla Guy, but you'll be all right. It'll be okay. I created him just for this purpose. I, I, I like the idea that I had him, but I don't have to have him permanently anyway. I can always add him back. All right, so turn that off. Let's turn that off and that off. We're going to do basically a vanilla game with just this mod, okay? So I'm going to let this reload. I'm going to do a reset. Come back. Because I really would like to try to show you whatever I can show you. Okay. So we'll try to look at the rest of the house when I come back. And um, we'll see if we can sell to those people. Or if this mod just has a flaw that we can't get around. Okay. All right. Back in a minute. Okay. So I'm trying to load back into this cliff. Dragon cliff. Is it dragon cliff? Dragon Cliff Manor. Ah, whatever. I'm trying to load back into this house. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, if this doesn't work, I really don't know, but I would say that there's something... I mean, this person has been a modder for some time, so... But it could be that there's something weird about the Xbox, you know, and, it, and just even though their mod maybe has nothing really wrong with it, maybe... It just has an issue on the Xbox. I do not know. But there is something wrong, whether it be with the Xbox or with the mod itself. doesn't really matter. So let's see if we can talk to her and sell, because she okay. crashed us the last time. All right, now this is her without okay. anything. This is totally vanilla. This is how she looks. <laughs> it's treating me like I've never played before. That's because this is basically a vanilla game with one mod. The only mod 
is um, this house. I got rid of everything else. That's from the Creation Club. So I don't know. I would hope that was not a problem. But it could be. I don't know. Okay, that's a Dragon Cliff Bandit note. And we got one lockpick. Now she has lockpicks we can buy from her. And she sells 200, so I think we should get them. That was 400 gold, my goodness. Lady, Until you're a ripoff. But no, actually the, the lockpicks is probably worth it. Out of all the things in the game that's worth buying, the lockpicks are probably the most worth it. Okay, so... I like all the little special effects, all the little decorations. I'm going to try to finish showing, showing what I can see, what we can see here. Um, there's a lot to see in the house, and I'm not sure if I've even seen it all because there's a lot of places to go. I mean, you would you would never have to you know, never really need to come to some of these places, uh, some of these locations. You could live in this house and use it for fun and just never, never go to some of these locations. But, let's see, let's go in here. Let's see if we've been in here. This is, I guess this is the proper, the manor proper. So this is your area here. Is this the, yeah, this is the pool. Let's go see this lady. I think she too, oh, well, I didn't know she did that. Okay, that's all right. I think she too has a store for you. Yes? Yep, she does. Take a look. You can buy potions from her. She has some potions. And some ingredients. She has a thousand gold. Not bad. She doesn't have anything. I don't have anything she's interested in. Okay, next time. that's fine. And you can swim in here, I imagine. Yep. I don't see anything worth really exploring, but nonetheless, there you are. There you have it. So. Anyway, something is going on um, with this house and this mod that makes it, you know, a little particular. It's a little hard... To get it to work and I, I would have to really go through all my mods to find out what was going on. The barracks are there. That's the manor again and then this is the manor too. Let's go in the barracks first. Um, again not saying anything to put down the mod in any way or the modder just saying that um, there appears to be some issue. And part of it could be some of the uh, mods that I'm using just aren't compatible with this mod, and that easily could be the case. Because I have uh, quite a few mods that I was using, and um, I didn't really expect this mod to be a problem, but... It, it is a very cool mod with some interesting things. And the more interesting it is, the more chance that you're going to run into some kind of compatibility issue with something. Which is sad. Here's the here's the, the chef. He's in his bed. Get up out of bed. Go make me some Hoffenfeffer. Um, but anyway, let's see. We've been through all that, haven't we? Yeah. Was this the... No, this was not where he was sleeping. No, I don't want to sleep. I, I Second. Oh, three gold I could take. Well, it is your home. You can take whatever you want. That's right. So it doesn't matter, does it? So, okay. So there's all this. Can we get that shield off of there? Or is that... That's just decoration. You can't have shields. Ah, that's all right. So this is the barracks where I guess you could have any number of followers or something sleep down here. Um, 
Now, mind you, I am not going to do anything about the crash we had. I'm just going to, I might edit, um, I might edit some of that, but I'm not going to do anything about it. It's this Need something? house has been hard to get to work. So um, you need to be aware that it's probably not going to be an easy thing. Is, is she the same one that I sold to earlier? It looks like she has all my junk. Until next time. I don't think that's the same girl, though. Hmm, interesting. Maybe they're a connected store. Now, you can run around this out here. I don't know why they left it this way. But I will say that it looks cool, and maybe that's why they left it. It's just that it looks cool. And I kind of like it. So, did I clip through that? Mm, I might be clipping through the wood there, but I don't care. It's fine. Um... Let's see, again, more displays. Uh, the same thing about these display cases as the others. All the display cases are pretty much the same. Let's see, is this the barracks again? That was the barracks. We went there. Um, let's go to the manor again. This is higher up in the manor. All right. We have a little entry room here. Oh, oh we have some planting places. You could put just some flowers in. Oh, you can teleport back to the main hall. We used to have one of these rugs like this in our living room when I was a kid. Uh, not that big. <laughs> but we did have one of those. Is that, do you call that a braid? What do you call that? It's, it's I guess it's kind of a braid. Oh, look at that. They got stuff for me. Thank you. I'm taking it all. I appreciate that. All right. So, still don't know. Why we would have had that issue earlier, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is not very deep. Well, it does appears to be swimming, but it can't really go underwater. So I'm going to say it's not very deep. All right, so I think I'm nearing the end. I don't know of anything else to show you except there's another little door out here to show you. Now, if I can figure it out as far as what is causing some of my conflict with this mod, I will do that, and I will do a little addendum and, and tell you what that is. Oh, this is like living quarters where you would have your kids, a dining hall, room for more kids. There is a version of this that allows for, you know, multiple um, extra adoptions, so. Is there anything else here? This looks like just the kids' room. Yeah, just does. It doesn't even look like a parent's room at all. So, that's just the kids' room. Okay. So, that's the kids' room. So, did this have a bedroom? Was this our bedroom in here? Let me check again. Oh, yeah, this is the bedroom. Okay. This is the bed. Oh, it has, look at that. It has the hand of Namira. I'll change it. Okay, hold on. We're going to test this. I will be quiet. Okay, we're going to test this. I don't know what this is going to be like. Oh yeah, he lost his cool look because I had to uh I had to turn off all those mods. Oh well. All right, but you get the idea. You can check. He lost. Did he lose his eyeballs? I think he lost his eyeballs too. There. Now he's got them back. That's good. Okay. Okay. That's all right.
I'm going to load Wiley back up the way, kind of the way he was. I'm really going to have to load him up from before I turned everything off, but that's okay. Actually, I guess I won't for this testing. All right, so now I need to try to find the conflict if I can. So um, I think this is all we can show for this. So if I can find the conflict or if I feel like I have the time, I really don't know if I want to take the time. I feel like for this mod, for this house, you probably should wait till Tarshana updates it and then get it and try it in a new save, a new game, and maybe try it with just a few mods at a time until you find out, you know, if it'll work for you. Because part of what we have to remember is with all the variations, we all tend to do slightly different load orders, so our game is not 100% exactly the same, and that means that testing, you know, is not going to be 100% exactly the same. Activate Maroon's Razor. Oh, I, I like the item. Okay, so if you had Maroon's Razor, you could put it down there. That's cool. Alright, so I think that's everything. Um, I'm going to leave Wiley here, and I'm going to try to figure out what is causing our conflict, okay? So uh, I want to thank you for watching. Oh, wait, let me show you the mod again. Because this is the Dragon Cliff Manor. It's a nice house. It's done by Tarshana. Now, it's older, so I don't know. Matter of fact, let's get out of this. Let me show you differently than this. Because we might. Can I bring up, I can probably bring up Internet Explorer and show you and see how old, um, how old this mod is. Because I was showing, you know, I was actually showing everybody in the, in a previous uh, show, um, how we can, we can use this on, you know, on our Xbox. We can go ahead and just use this and do what we need to do. Um, it may take a moment, but it's, it's worth your time if it gives you more information and helps you make a better decision. So just pardon me for a moment and I'll have a little coffee while that loads. Of course I've been running my mouth and my coffee has gotten cold. Okay, so let's look for Dragon Cliff Manor. Now I'm not using my keyboard, so You'll just have to bear with me. This will take a second more, a few seconds more. I'm pretty used to doing this, though. It's not too bad. We hit search, and then we get out of that. There we go. Now I'm looking at, as you can tell from here, I'm looking at the main edition. And it is by Tarshana, like I said. So let's take a look. I don't think I don't think Tarshana ported it. I think it's actually by Tarshana. But we'll we'll look here for sure. So and and see they do give you they show you where it's at on the map. So this is correct. This is where it is. Even though their instructions for getting there aren't exactly as good as I would like. But they're not bad. And when you do this, you'll see that it's a little hard to describe anyway. So, okay. So, actually, it's not that old. This was updated in September of 2019. Hmm. I wonder if, if this general stores is what's causing the problem and that's why they're going to remove it. I think that's probably it. So maybe you should wait until Tarshana has a chance to update that. Of course, now they say here for testing my recovery SP to make sure this causes no crashing, but um, I, I would have to say that it, there's some conflict, not necessarily, not necessarily if this mod causes crashing, though. That's true. It just depends, you know, on my combination of mods, right? Um, but I think the problem is, is that this was made with that general stores being used. See, it was created a few years ago, and it was using this general stores mod. 
And that may very well be the problem. Yeah, if nothing alters that path, you should be able to place it anywhere. If you have immersive controls, uh, patrols or bandits, place this under it. I went ahead and moved it to the bottom just to try to get it to work. Now it says you need general stores as a master file for the auto source system. Now, I could not get any of that to work. The general stores master file stays with you no matter what. I don't know what that means. Now, and see, they do say if you have anything else, it means another mod or is dirty, so place this one under. That is possible, or it could just be the two mods are trying to do something similar and they're affecting each other. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that. It's like, it's like they say here, another mod is trying to overwrite something. They're both affecting the same thing. Because this does have a couple of stores. And it has a lot of displays, specialized displays. Um, the inside was optimized with room bounds and portals. This is the version we'll be updating more often with Alcor conversation because it was designed by both Vader and myself in all the special place. Neither of us are fond of player homes, but we obviously need something more than a cramped city home. I hope the family editions folks understand that their updates will come more slowly. So that's another reason I chose this one. I thought this one would be more up to date. Now comments are disabled, so that is not all that helpful. Okay, removed general stores dependency. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if this, uh, there may be too much stuff going on. Re redone some packages and stuff. Fix the rack, weapon rack. None of this sounds major. Removed all the adoption keywords. Okay. Alright, so anyway. From, from my testing, I would say that you're probably going to struggle to use this house a lot. Um, oops, did my batteries just go out? Pardon me. My batteries just died. You know me, I use my batteries to the last. The last drop of energy I can get out of them, that's how I use them. And it's been fussing at me all day. So we're going to swap batteries real fast. But nonetheless, I think we're pretty much done with this. I did want to look at one thing. I'm going to see if there was, I don't know if there's still a lot of people using this mod or not. I was going to look and try to see um, if somebody is using this mod successfully. If there's anything particular or weird about it that you know of, let me know. Um, it does have its own dragon. Um, let's see, it's, uh, it's had a lot of downloads, it's had about 11,000 favorites, so I mean, obviously some people like it, um, some people are using it, it's rated, it looks like it's rated pretty good, 487 ratings, I know people don't do a lot of ratings, um, So, like I said, I'm going to go, and I'm going to try to see if I can find the conflict. If, uh, if I have enough time, I'm really running out of time. I guess I will try to find it, okay? But since they're, they're planning to do an update for it, I don't know if I want to put too much time into that. It might be better to wait till they update it, and then we can look at trying it again, because they're going to remove the general stores totally, and... Uh, and fix some things up. So, I do have it favorited though, so let's take a look and see if there's anything different here that we need to see before I go. Where are you at? It's not that old. Okay, there it is. I was going to say, it was created a couple of years ago. It's not that old. 
So anyway, um, because they removed the GS dependency and it's going to, you know, it's going to be updated. Um, I don't know. I think possibly that we need to wait for the update to see what happens. You can use the ladders. I didn't show you that, but you can. There are some ladders and you can use them. They will work. Sorry about that. I forgot to show you that. Um, now down here, even though they've removed the general stores dependency, they still left the comments, you need the general stores. Um, so I had tried with the general stores, but it didn't, didn't help me. And then it says the general stores master file stays with you no matter what, but I've created a new game without it. So I don't, I don't think it is staying with this game. Now, um, and I don't know how it would stay with my game no matter what. So I don't know about that. Anyway, uh, maybe it's some special weird thing where it gets in your game save and stays there. Um, but I'm not sure if that would be totally possible. But it's not, I guess it's not impossible, depending on what it is, how they do it. So... Anyway, so this version had been updated back in September. The inside was optimized, room mounted portals. But um, I guess there's nothing else to say. I was looking to see if there was anything else. So I'm going to have to give this a whirl. Just try to play around with it and see. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to try it now. I got a few minutes. And uh, we'll see how that goes, okay? All right. So um, thanks for watching. I'll try to I'll try to check that out now and add that addendum. If I get interrupted though, I may drop it because uh, I know the toaster is going to be back in a little bit. But at least I got to show you the house, even though we had that one crash. And we were just selling stuff, so I don't know why we had that crash. But I'm gonna gonna just test some things out and see, okay? Alright. So um again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, remember to stay safe out there and try to be kind to others. Everybody is going crazy with all this uh, virus, nuts, soy stuff. So, you know. All right. I will catch you later.